LXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, June 2022, Question 6. Figure 1 shows a sketch of a curve C with equation y equals f of x, where f of x is a cubic expression in x. The curve passes through the origin. It has a maximum turning point at 2, 8, and has a minimum turning point at 6, 0. For part A, we need to write down the set of values of x for which f dash x is smaller than 0. So the differential of f is smaller than 0. So remember, f dash x gives us the gradient. So if it is smaller than 0, it's a negative gradient. And we can see on the sketch there that the only bit that's got the negative gradient is in the middle there, going from our 2, 8 down to where it meets the x-axis at 6. Now, as we've been given f dash x strictly smaller than 0, this means our x can't actually be 2 or 6. It's got to be strictly between them. So x is larger than 2, but smaller than 6. The line with equation y equals k, where k is a constant, intersects c at only one point. For part b, we need to find the set of values of k, giving our answer in set notation. So any line of equation y equals k is going to be a straight horizontal line going through k on the y-axis. And we're told that it's only going to go through c, the curve, at one point exactly. So we can see that if we have a line here, just below the x-axis, if this was to go down, it's always only going to meet at one point. However, if it went up, it would start cutting through at two or three points. Similarly, we can see that if we have a line here almost touching the top at 2, 8 there, then it's only going through one point on the right hand side. And if it goes up, then it will always only be at one point. But anywhere in the middle there, between 2, 8 and the x axis, it's going to be cutting at two or three points. So we know that we need y values smaller than zero and larger than the eight of two eight. So in set notation, we have the k such that k is smaller than zero, union with k such that k is larger than eight. For part c, we need to find the equation of c and we can leave our answer in factorized form. So we know that this is a cubic graph and we can see from the sketch the roots of this equation. We've got 0, 0, and we've got 6, 0. So our roots are going to be 0 for the first one, and a repeated 6. It's repeated because it just touches the axis at this point. It's not going through it. Using these, we know that we can write our expression as ax, where the x is from the 0 root, times x minus 6 all squared. So x minus 6 from 6 being a root and the squared because it's a repeated root. And we've got an a at the beginning there because we don't know from the roots how stretched up and down the graph is. So we've got y equals ax times x minus 6 all squared. We've got three points that we know this graph goes through. The origin, 2, 8 and 6, 0. But if we were to put the origin or 6, 0 into these, we'd get zeros left and right. It wouldn't give us the a because the zeros would just cancel everything out. So we need to put our other point, the 2, 8, into this equation. So doing that gives us that 8 is equal to 2a times 2 minus 6 all squared. 2 minus 6 is minus 4, which squares to give 16. So 8 is equal to 32a. a is equal to a quarter. And then we just need to remember to actually write this out as an equation. So putting this back into our equation that we have before, we've got that y is equal to a quarter x times x minus 6 all squared. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.